Hi everyone, welcome to my latest video. Well in this one, which by the way is filmed by new Sony ZV-E10 camera with the kit lens, I'm going to do a review and demonstration of a new device that I purchased. This one I purchased myself to improve my streaming rig and my streams going forward. It is the Elgato Cam Link Pro. Now I've already got an Elgato 4K60 in this computer. I'll be taking that out. It supports only one HDMI attachment. It will run that, of course, at 4K60, but this one will give you four 4K30 or four 1440p60 or four 1080p60 connections to the same card. And therefore, I can demonstrate multiple cameras and I have at least two that I'd like to have on most of the time if you ever watch one of my live streams. Sometimes I may even go three and of course I generally always have a computer that I'm connecting up to my system that I'd like to be able to capture that screen as well. So with this one card I should be able to do it all. So let me open this thing up and see what's included. Don't expect much. Oops, I need my little handy dandy package opener. There's two tabs on here that have to be cut. There we go. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, a box within a box. That reminds me of the 4K60 I have in there. Oh, we got a nice little display giving you some of the Camlink Pro advantages, it looks like. Where to go to download the, the software, elgato.com slash download. And of course, the Camlink Pro itself. Let's take this out of here. Oh, it looks like to give you another little case badge. That's always cute to have, right? Um, what is this? Warranty card, it looks like. It looks like a warranty card. Is there anything inside here behind the box? No, it's empty after that. Let's take a look at this. Break the seal on it. And there we go. It goes into a times four PCIe slot. It has four HDMI ports on it. They are labeled one through four, as you can see there. And that's about all there is from the external view. It's got that nice little metal protector to protect the circuitry. And it's black, so it goes with the tone of black and white type setups like I have. So what I'll do next is I'll put this in the computer and download the software. Actually, I have the software loaded already because of the 4K60. However, there's a newer version out there now, so I'll just go ahead and show how I download that and install it. And then I'll go ahead and hook up multiple HDMI sources to it. At least three cameras. Maybe I'll take one of these computers here and put that in as well, and we'll see how it goes. Well, putting the link in here that uh, is recommended by the Elgato cover that I opened up, the download section, let's download the latest software. So if we come in and well, first let's pick it is Windows. We're good. Let's pick the product. The product we want is Camlink Pro. And they show Camlink Pro Utility. And it shows all the compatibility with it. So Camlink Pro is definitely there. Version 1.7.5, which I believe is newer than what I have here. So let me go ahead and download it. Okay, it's now downloaded. Let me just click on it and open it up. See what we get. Okay. Hit next. I accept the terms. Next. No, I don't want to send them my data. Let's take the default locations and then install. Asking for my administrator password, of course. And we do a finish. So now we have the 4K utility installed. Let me close out of this. Okay, let's run the 4K utility and see what we got. Okay, let's go into the little preferences button here in the upper right hand corner. As you can see here, it shows software version 1.7.5, which is the one that we just downloaded. So that's good. The device though is still set up for the 4K60 Pro that I have installed in the PC right now. So that will change once I pull that one out and install the new one. So let's go ahead now and see if we can get it installed. Okay, it's pretty straightforward to put this thing in here. I'm gonna remove the old one. I already have the cables disconnected from it. And then I'll pull the card out. 4K60 Pro. It'll be saved for later. The new Camlink Pro. It's going to go in next. Go in the same way. Make sure it's a times four slot you're putting it into. Let's get this screw started. 
Then I'll tighten it up with the screwdriver. And it's in. On the back, I have three different cameras I'm going to put on. This is my main primary camera. It'll go over here in cam link number one. My secondary camera, go in here, number two. A tertiary camera I'm setting up will go in number three. And an HDMI cable that'll be connected to a PC will go in number four. Fully populated. Okay, what I'm now using is OBS to show you how I can use it to record the four different HDMI ports that are on the Elgato Cam Link Pro. The first thing I'll do is you see it defaults to the first camera, the first, the first HDMI port that is. If I go ahead and change the properties, I can actually define it to another camera. So I'll go to number two. That's that camera there. I'll say okay to that. So that's my Sony ZV E10. Let me switch it again. This time to number three. And number three, say okay to that. Number three is my Sony ZV1 that I have pointed right at me right below my face. Let me now change it to the fourth port, HDMI 4. And what I have here is a computer. This computer that I actually have connected up to it, one of my test computers. I can actually go ahead and go into um, YouTube if I wanted to. So that's how it is with OBS. Now, the important thing here is if we go back to the first one, that first port actually says on, if you read the description of it in OBS, it says HDMI-1 slash multi-view, which means that this can be changed. It can actually have different views of the cameras or the HDMI ports, whether they're connected to cameras or not. One way that you can do that is by using the Elgato Stream Deck. And I have the Stream Deck set up right now so that it can control which HDMI ports are on it. I actually set up a cam link button on here, the bottom center. And when I go to that, you see these special buttons here. Well, these were designed using the regular Stream Deck configuration program. It comes with it. You just have to make sure that you install that particular set of functions in the Stream Deck itself, going to the Stream Deck Elgato store. So what if I do here, it's on number one right now. If I hit number two, watch what happens. It went to the second camera. If I hit number three, the third camera. Number four, the computer. But I can get fancier than that. I can actually set it up, for example, a picture in picture. I have it set for number four with number one as a small image. And these are all configurable on the Stream Deck itself. Let me show you how that's done. So here's the Elgato Stream Deck configuration screen. This is actually looking at the page I have set up for my streaming. And what I did is I added this new one after installing the CamLink Pro called CamLink. If I click on that page, these are the things that I added. And they are available under the thing that says CamLink. There's only one option here, set multi-view mode. If I grab this and pull it over here to any one of the buttons that I want to use, it defaults to the first camera. But then you come down here and you define in the option whether you want something different. So you can create uh, picture in picture, side by side, triple, whatever, quad. And I have those options up here. So it shows you how you can actually take it and create it any way you want. And then you can define, for example, what is this double? First of all, let me put that, this double over here and I'm gonna change it to the other two cameras. Right now it's set for one and two. Well, if I come over here and I go down to this little icon window in the bottom, I can change this to whatever HDMI ports I want. So I'll change that to number three, and I'll change that to number four. So it'll be side by side. And now that option is there. Three and four will be go active whenever I hit that button. This is showing now the 4K capture utility that we installed earlier. Well, you can use this to configure the actual HDMI ports, especially the one that allows for multiple screens with this tool as well. All you have to do here is come into this little flower up here. And right now it's set for CamLink Pro HDMI MultiView, but you can assign any one you want to it. Okay, and that'll be the one that you actually get to configure. If you look at any of these other ones, you don't get to do a lot with them. It doesn't show you much with it. 
So it just shows in the background here, whichever camera we're looking at. And you can switch to them. And then you can do whatever you want to them in terms of this tool, as far as uh, doing some of the options that they give you here to do, which is the video input and some of the other options that you can configure on each of the HDMI ports. But let's go back to the one that's multi-view. When you open this one up again, you'll now notice that it has an extra little set of options on the bottom here. And here is where you can configure exactly how the multi-view will actually function. Right now it's just HDMI 1, but you could change it to HDMI 2, 3, or 4. Or you can change it from full screen to something else. Picture in picture, side by side, and so forth. And then you click on the little down little arrow here, and you can define whatever HDMI port would be, for example, on this picture in picture. And all of the options are here for you to try different things, the side by side, the triple, and so forth, or all of them together. And then that becomes the default when you go back into something like OBS for that device. So now it's been configured the same way that we would have configured it if we had done it with the Elgato Stream Deck. If I had pressed the one of these buttons, it does effectively the same thing that this software does for you. So it's almost like having the Stream Deck gives you a shortcut to it. A very powerful system, and I look forward to streaming with it.